that we have her permission, it's time to build us a ship. Yep. So what do I have to do? What do I have to bring? Calm down. I'll explain them one at a time. For now, I'll start by making a basic frame. The rest will be up to the quality of materials you bring me. Without those, I'm not lifting another finger. I know, I know. So tell me what the materials are. I'll get them to you as quick as I can. I said calm down, but I guess you can't help yourself. Okay, bring me everything on this list. Wow, there's actually a lot. Yep, with all that, I can build the ship superior to the one I made for Gisela. Better than Mom's. I'll do it. Um, there's a lot of stuff I've never heard of on the list. Where do I get it? That's for me to know and you to find out. You're going to challenge the Flausch Trot, so this should be easy. Fine. I'll bring them to you right away. <laughs> Look at her go. All right, let's get to work. Thank you. 
Begin. Uh, what should I do? Oh. <laughs>
Let's begin. Ow! The sword of might! You should have expected this. Move is ours. Take that! W wow, I won already. Let's begin. Of might! You should have expected this. will yell at us. I guess so. No, I'm going to work a bit more. You go on ahead. Then I want to help too. It's all right. This is my job. I never let Gisela help me with shipbuilding. I didn't know that. I thought Mom would love to do this kind of work. She tried. She wouldn't stop yapping about it, so I let her help once. She snapped the mast and busted a hole through the bottom. I wouldn't let her touch the ship after that. Oh, really? Why do you sound disappointed? Sometimes I realize how little of the past I remember. Not just with Mom. But I didn't even know you're a shipwright. You were still young at the time. Then again, maybe you're just really forgetful. Hey, that's mean. 
Oh, what's wrong with that? It just means you're that much like your mother. Was mom forgetful too? Yeah, she messed up your and Setsi's names all the time. I wanted to name you two something easy to remember. She ignored me and gave you needlessly complicated names. Oh, mom gave us our names? I have more stories like that. There was a time when she came back from a long journey. When she saw you, she yelled, Whose kid is that? What? Really? I'm sure she was half joking, but she loved doing things like that. What else? I want to hear more stories about mom. Aside from her being absent-minded? What do you want to know? Um, um, I know. How did you and mom get married? <laughs> hey, that's something I'm not quite ready to tell you. Why? I want to know, I want to know. Maybe in ten. No, no, five years. Come on, let's go home. Setsy's waiting. Hey, wait! Come on, Dad! Tell me now! I just finished the exterior. In the grand scheme of things, we're about halfway through. Just half. Okay, I better go find the rest of the materials. Good luck out there, little adventurer. Oh yeah, I just remembered something I wanted to ask you, Dad. What? Is it about Gisela again? Yeah. Why did Mom become an adventurer? From what everyone says, it seems like she'd think licenses and stuff were a huge pain. In her case, she didn't become one. They made her into one, actually. Made her? She liked wandering around and causing trouble even before becoming an adventurer. She didn't need to become one, but someone always had to clean up after her. No one knew where and when she'd wreak havoc next, but complaint letters kept piling up at the guild. You can't tell who's a legitimate adventurer just by looking at them. That's why people from the guild begged her to hang an adventurer's license around her neck. That didn't solve anything. Mom stirred up trouble even after getting a license. They probably thought it was worth it because they could clean up her messes more efficiently. When you become an adventurer, you have to periodically update the guild on your whereabouts. I get it. I think I understand why Cordelia was so mad now. Yep, you got everything. Well done. Hold on just a second. Oh, okay. And done. Done? Really? You're really done? Yeah. This is your ship. Like it? Oh, don't jump on me. You did a good job. To be honest, I didn't think you could get all the materials. I tried really hard. Thank you, Dad. I should be the one thanking you. I never thought the day would come where I could build another ship. I gotta go look for Mom right away. Um, um, what do I bring with me? Food, a change of clothes, and... Oh, yeah. How do I control a ship? Can I do it by myself? Calm down there. 
It's reckless to leave right now. Dad, I have to go look for Mom. She's waited for you this long. I'm sure she won't mind waiting a little more. First, you have to gather your stuff. I'll help out. Oh, fine. But tell me how to steer it when we're done. Promise me. Oh, jeez. She might be a big-time adventurer, but she's still a little kid. I'm counting on you. I put my soul into making you. I need you to watch over her, no matter what. Thank <laughs> you.